Good morning, everybody. Hope y'all are doing great. Today, I am going to bring you a video, a review, of one of what I consider the best kept secrets in the city of Birmingham as far as affordable value golf. Uh, today, we're gonna review Roebuck Municipal Golf Course. Let's go. So we have teed off on number one, had a uh, bit of a fade when I was expecting a draw, but overall not a bad shot off the first tee. Generally speaking guys, this course is in great shape for the price. So just so you're aware, I paid $9, no excuse me, I paid $12, they raised the price on me, uh, to play nine holes. So I'm just walking. It's generally a very flat course, which is nice. A little bit of rolling hills, but uh, generally speaking, you're always hitting a flat fairway. This is the best place to come practice uh, before you play at a nicer location somewhere else. Uh, because if you are not hitting it straight, you are going to be aware. Uh, most of the fairways are lined with trees, but um, on the other side of the trees are more fairways. What that means is that even if you have an errant shot like I just did, uh, the worst thing that usually happens most of the time is just going to be that you have to uh, try to get over or under a set of large pine trees, which you can see behind me. So it's a really great uh, kind of starter course if you're just starting out golf, and it's also a really good deal. So uh, I'll, more to come. So the greens here, I would give a solid three out of five. If you were rating them for a municipal course, they're like a five out of five. They're about as good as a muni course can be. Um, a couple brown spots just based on how hot it is, but really, really excellent shape. No bare spots, no uh, weeds, obviously, nothing like that. Uh, and the greens are either very small here, so they're really tough uh, to hit and keep on or they are like an upside down bowl shape, right? And this is a, a great example of it. I'll show you here in a second of an upside down bowl shape. It's just really, really tough to keep the ball on the, on the uh, putting surface. And it's tough to make the putts because there's, it doesn't feel like there's a lot of flat spots. It's not a severe undulating green or anything like that. It's just that every area feels like it's either falling towards or away from the hole, which is really tough. So anyway, uh, I'll, I'll shoot y'all some video here and let you see it. So fairways, I would give the fairways uh, maybe three and a half out of five. Um, five being like, you know, the best golf course you've ever played, obviously, uh, where it looks like carpet. Uh, four being very nice, no weeds, right? Uh, what you would consider like a normal private course or just one of the nicer courses that you play. Uh, this is uh, no, like no bare spots, right? It's very green, it's lush but there are a couple weeds, right? So uh, most of us are not good enough to really care or for that to matter, uh, but that's why I give it three out of five. So I'll take a couple shots so you can see, but again, great, no bare spots, it's not brown. Uh, we're here in the middle of the summer, uh, but you know, there are a couple weeds and, and things like that. So it's not perfect, but it's what you would expect for a municipal course as well as I can care of.
So this is one of the longest holes on the course. It's a par five, even from the white tees, which are not the, the far back tees, it's 550 by 60. So it's definitely not one you'll go for in two. But this is a great example of a, the tree line fairway. So this is it right here, right? Uh, this is another par five coming back the other way, uh, another tree line fairway. We can see here, I mean, it is straight as an arrow but it is also really tough if you've got a big slice or a big crawl. So that's what I mean by this is a great course to practice on because it basically forces your hand uh, to, to hit the ball straight, which is nice. So you may be wondering about water on the course. Uh, generally speaking, there isn't any. The one water hazard, if you will, on the whole course is this right here, walking over it. So this runs directly through the middle of the course. So a handful of holes, this is a carry, right? Now, generally speaking, it doesn't actually come into play. If you were driving the ball 300 plus yards, it might come into play on a couple tee boxes. I dropped the ball 275, and it is a very rare thing where I ever find that. And so uh, you're usually aiming for it and then just going straight over it with no issue. So I just want to show you, this is an example of what separates a municipal course, which is even in great shape for a municipal course, from like a nicer course. Check this out. This is the 18th tee. We can see the sand is not exactly well manicured. It's not pillowy. It's quite hard. They don't really come out and rake it very often. So it's a lot of uh, a lot of trouble if you get into it. Now, there aren't very many sand traps here. It's another reason it's a municipal course, but that is a key difference. So just want you to know what you're paying for is what you're getting. But relatively speaking, if you're looking for nice green fairways without a lot of weeds, uh, pretty slow greens, but they roll pretty true, uh, this is a great spot to check out. So walking up the uh, 18th fairway now, uh, I bounced around a little bit today. I played nine, but because of this course layout, what you can do is you can play one through four and then easily hop over to uh, 15 and come back that way. So if it's not crowded like it's hot today, uh, you can do some, some interesting things here just to hop around, play some different holes and stuff like that. So final thoughts on the course itself. Today was a soggy day, but generally speaking, the course is in awesome condition. I mean, for again, $12 to walk nine, it's like 20 bucks to walk 18. It's a really flat course, so if you don't mind walking, I, I use a push cart here. Uh, but if you don't mind walking, this is a great course to do it on. I didn't play really well today. I'm probably gonna end up five over based on my tee shot here uh, through nine. So that's about normal for me. I'm about a 10 handicap, so that's about normal. But this is a pretty easy course, so I'm usually looking to shoot two or three over here. So anyway, course is in great shape. Highly recommend that you come check it out. It's over here by the Birmingham Airport, so you do get some airplanes flying over. <coughs> but other than that, it's, uh, it's uh, a great course. And again, awesome place to play midweek. I will say, on the weekends, it gets a little crowded here. There are no tee times at this course. So it's first come first serve. That's great because on the weekend if you can get up early you don't have to uh, be looking for a, uh, a tee time or anything like that. Uh, so if you just feel like playing golf one day this is a great place to just show up and play. But I will say it gets really crowded you'll get a bunch of foursomes. It's going to take you a while to play it uh, on a Saturday if you get here say 9 or 10 o'clock it's going to be kind of too late. So there you have it guys hope you enjoyed the, uh, the video. If you uh, enjoyed it please feel free to share it click like and thanks again.